Hey guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be an overview of what I have in my woods bag. This isn't really a survival bag or a bug out bag, but this is a bag that I'll have with me when I go out in the woods. I'll always have it with me if I come out to HQ. It has pretty much everything I could need if I got into a situation. First things first, in this back pouch I keep a container. This is what I call a comfort slash first aid kit. It's not a proper survival first aid kit or bug out first aid kit, but it does have everything I would need in it. I'll just do a quick overview of what I have. Uh, in the top here I have uh, ointment, which is for cracked and dry skin. This stuff works great. It's uh, aquifer. It's good for cracked hands, uh, blisters, calluses, and all that. Some Blistex, medicated, chapstick, great to have. Uh, honey cough drops, which I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I actually have a little bit of a chest cold, so these little cough drops are handy to have. I have a container of pills. It contains a little bit of everything, actually. Put one of these in here as a stop, because I hate rattling in my bag, and this kind of keeps everything in place. But I have, let's see if I can get them out. Just have a little bit of everything. I have some Excedrin migraine. It's good if you have a headache, that stuff will kick it out. It's got caffeine, uh, Tylenol, and what else does I have in it? Uh, it has something else in it that really helps too. Uh, ibuprofen for swelling, Tylenol for fever reduction. Then I also have uh, some anti-diarrheal in case you're out in the woods and you ain't feeling the greatest. So just, um, oh, and antihistamine because if you get bit by something or come across something you're allergic to, it's a really good thing to have. It can slow down a reaction. Or even if you're just out in the woods and you have some allergies, there's nothing worse than that. So push that back in there. Of course, now it won't pack back up properly, but okay. So that's what I keep in there. Then I have uh, fingernail clippers, tweezers, just some little soap from a hotel. I go to a lot of hotels for work. So I'll grab a couple of those something to throw in there. Iodine wipes, uh, moist wipe, and then Q-tips. So, oh, and Band-Aids in here as well. you notice I have a lot of these little uh, paper towels or naps wrapped up in my bag in these little packs that I have. I hate rattling around in my bags. So, you can see this doesn't make a lot of noise when I'm out and about. Next one up is just a, uh, I guess... Kind of like if your junk drawer that you have at home it has a little bit of everything in there. Uh, some paper towel to prevent rattling. Just a couple little tea lights, uh, an extra little flashlight, uh, extra batteries. Just this is for fishing. It's what what you can string your fish up with. Some extra nap uh, matches. A little Kool-Aid pack in case you got some water and you want to have a just a little sweet drink. Oh, let's see what else I got. A couple of little Slim Jims. They're good for like a year. They store. <laughs> I mean, I actually like them too. So it's a little good backup, little snack to have. Some glow sticks. A uh, little pencil. Not the most organized in the world. But it does work. Now this, this is handy to have. This is actually like a little straw. So what's nice about this is if you're starting a fire, whether you got a little tinder pile or something, you can put this in. And direct air towards the little center of your tinder pile and it helps blow it because I know getting up close and trying to blow on it it works but having this is nice because you can direct it exactly at it and you can keep your face back a little bit from the fire and the smoke uh, I mentioned this to was it it was either mad dog survival or hat I think it was half-assed astronaut yep he was going over his med kit and I mentioned super glue is a lifesaver for deep gashes in your fingers uh, fingernail injuries that stuff Will good will be good for closing up wounds and whatnot. And then also in here, I have a military wound dressing kit. I don't know if you can see the instructions. Let's see if it'll focus on there. It's good for tourniquets, um, eye injuries, making a sling, um, just general wound dressing. This is from just a little military first aid kit. And then little pencil sharpener that's not what I use it for it's actually a little tinder kit oh, excuse me while I get comfortable so 
what's nice is you can take a little stick and just kind of put it in there and it's a little cheater way to making tinder but also inside of it I have it packed up with my favorite tinder to use see that's the one I just made right now this is dryer lint now I'll try to do a little quick uh, shot of why I love this stuff. If you get a spark to that, that goes up great. I mean, it catches insanely easily. It burns quick and hot, so you can put it in the middle, middle of a tinder pile, and that helps. So I got some shavings in here, and I got some of that dryer lint as well. This right here is a nice little tinder maker. Uh, it's a quick, easy way to make it, so I keep that in there. That's, what else do I have in that first pouch? I believe... That is all in my first pouch. Oh, let's see what I got in the second pouch. Now, I also take this bag fishing and stuff with me as well. So, let's see. Um, hand warmers. These are great in Michigan. The weather can change quickly. It can get cold. Uh, then you can throw them in your boots and keep your feet warm. If you didn't properly protect your feet with layers of socks or warm shoes. So, hand warmers are always going to be in there. These ones provide up to 10 hours of heat. You can throw one in your hat if your head gets cold. You, you can pretty much put them anywhere that gets cold. So these are a must in Michigan. Uh, one of my favorite things to have out in my bag, and I think you should put these in bug out bags, survival bags, whatever, zip ties. So many uses for zip ties. Shelter making, uh, impromptu tourniquet if you had to. You can put it on the wound and pull really tight until you can get that, some help. These have a million different uses. Bag repair, if your strap breaks in your bag, you can fashion something up with this. So zip ties are one of my favorite things to have in my bag. Um, some backwoods dry insect repellent, uh, up to 10 hours. This is a must if you're out in the woods in Michigan. Except for about this time of year, you could get away with not having it. Any other time of year, you're gonna be dealing with mosquitoes, so it's not nice pencil. Have. Little pack of napkins. Favorite comic book superhero right there, Mr. Spider-Man. I didn't get it because of that. This is just what we had in the house for the kids. Oh, what else do I have in this pouch? I have some fishing line. This stuff's great. Fire line, crystal. It says 20 pounds, but man, this stuff can take a beating and hold a lot of weight. This stuff's pretty much indestructible. I, it's, my, it's my favorite fishing line to use for most situations. When you got a lot of branches and stuff in the water, worrying about snags, this stuff will get through it all. Uh, just some little little bundle of nylon rope. And a fishing kit. Let's see. You'll see I also have a lot of these paper towels and stuff in here because I hate rattling around. Some of my homemade fishing lures, which I'll probably do a separate video on that. It's one of my favorite hobbies. This little guy right here, I made him. This is one of my bass lures. I made the skirt. Uh, I put the beads on here. Put my hook on here. So these, this is one of my favorite lures that I make. I got another two or three different styles. This is one of my go-tos. But yeah, so some fishing lures. I have hooks, extra hooks in here. Uh, some sinkers. Uh, let's see what else. Just some little, little plastic baits if needed. So that's my little fishing kit that I have. Sorry, I'm not trying to make a super long video, but this is just what I had in here. Um, in the main pouch, I'll keep a can of biofuel. It's what I have left over from last time, actually. Um, a sweater. An extra layer of protection. I like this one because it has a high collar. So you can zip it up all the way and keep your neck warm. Or you can pull it down. But, yep. A sweater in there. Uh, that's about it. In the side pouch, I have a little sharpening stone and you might recognize this. This is the Life Gear flashlight from my flashlight test. Like I said, this one kind of won a spot in my bag. It has a lot of different modes. If you want to see more about that, you can go check out my inexpensive flashlight test. This one was the winner, so it made its way into my bag. There's also a mini mag light in there as well. And then a lighter. Oh wait, one more pouch. Let's see. The very top pouch here. I have a headlamp. 
and a cheap little fire steel. So that is my bag. If you think of anything cool or anything easy, lightweight to throw into my bag, it, it's not perfect, but it works for what I need. If you have any suggestions, you can go ahead and throw them down in the comment. I'm going to try to do a quick little setup to show why I like that dryer lint as a fire starter. Bit of lint out. What's nice is you can get a bunch of it packed in there too. Get some shavings on it, some pencil shavings if you want. You can always make more shavings too. Just take a little stick, put it in there, give it a couple of twists. Yeah. It's already and it's going. Put that out so I can try again. It's going. That doesn't have any Vaseline or oil or anything added to it. That just goes like that. So you kind of see why I like to have this as my tinder kit. I pack it full of dryer lint and just make some shavings with sticks or whatever. And it works great. It's one of my favorite ways to start. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Like I said, if you have any suggestions of things that I throw into my kit, I'm always open to uh, new ideas. My other videos that I have in mind will be coming out probably within the next week or two. Got a couple that I'll be doing. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you guys next time.